Do you think the 49ers will be the last undefeated team standing? It's right now, right now it's them, Miami, and Philly. So let's let's go through the schedules real quick. The Dolphins, I believe, have the most likely chance to lose this weekend. They play the Buffalo Bills. So, and that's in Buffalo. So they play Buffalo yeah, this that's week. That's gonna be that's, a game. That's gonna be a game for sure. Then they play yeah. the Giants, the Panthers, and oddly enough, in four weeks, they play the Eagles, who's another undefeated team. Then you look at the Eagles. They play the Commanders, mm. the Rams, and the Jets. I think all three of those should be wins, but then you play the Dolphins. And whether the Dolphins have lost to that point or not, that could be a scheduled loss. And so then let's look at the 49ers, who play the Cardinals. The Cowboys, who all of a sudden, that doesn't look as daunting as what it once did. The Browns, Deshaun Watson's a shell of himself. And then the Vikings, who we've already talked about. I really think that the way this thing is shaping out, the 49ers are going to be the last undefeated team in the league. And not that that wins you a Super Bowl, but you know they started out 8-0 the year that they went to the Super Bowl. There's a path to that happening again, potentially, this year. They're very hot. The offense is... is I mean, really, all three phases. They're they're top five and or top seven in EPA on offense, defense, and special teams. Like, I don't know, man. They're they're just clicking right now. I think the 49ers will be the last undefeated team in the NFL. Looking at these schedules, their schedule looks so easy right now. So Can favorable, we go through it, right? So let's go through it. So Arizona, they look like mm-hmm. you know solid, but probably not. And then Dallas just lost to Arizona, yep. so probably not. And then Cleveland is interesting because they have a great defense. Yes, and it is a road game. It is a road game. Road game. Minnesota, no. Cincinnati, no. Jacksonville, probably not. But maybe. Tampa, no. Seattle, no. Philly, maybe. Yes. Seattle, no. Arizona, no. Baltimore, maybe. Washington, no. Rams, no. So I, if it's not the Browns week six, it might be Jacksonville week 10. I mean, yeah, Niners could like really, I mean... It's it's crazy yeah. because they're not going to go undefeated. Like the, it's just not going to happen. But when you look at the schedule, where's the loss for sure? And I know we're three weeks in, but it's really? maybe yes, maybe I guess yeah. Baltimore maybe. I, I mean, there's some maybes in there, but there's no team that you look at and go, mm, they're for sure losing that game. It's just it is a lot of travel, and it was funny when the schedule came out. Everyone was like, man, this this is a tough schedule. Ten and seven maybe 11 to six and uh now it's like this is the easiest schedule i've ever seen it's always it happens that way it's like wait a second none of these teams are good oh wait it's the nfl where every team is like really bland and mediocre and running the same scheme so it's funny fun. because i went through the schedule and i had them at 13 to four and then i said you know you know what I, I feel like that's a little too optimistic i'm sure there's a loss somewhere i'm not predicting we'll go 12 and five just because i felt like i was going too optimistic with it and now i look at it and go was I optimistic enough at 13 and four? Like, I mean, they're going to lose, but are they going to lose more than two games this year? Are they even going to get to a third loss? I mean, barring major health issues, which we saw kind of bite them against the Falcons last year. It's just hard on paper to pick them to really lose multiple games this year. It's crazy. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Watch the, watch the Niners go like 15 and two. And then and then losing the first round of the playoffs. Oh, no! Don't put that juju on them, Ricky L- Bobby. Losing the NFC Championship game again. <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. All right, man. That play. number one seed's super important. Super important. It's super. Important. I think they're gonna get it. I think that's the biggest key. Is if they can get that number one seed, that is the key to getting to the Super Bowl. Now, I'm not saying they're gonna win the Super Bowl based off that, but if they get the number one seed. Are you going to pick them to lose in the playoffs? I'm not. That's a good point. And, you know, I feel like Philly has a good chance, too. I mean, maybe their schedule is tougher, but they're 20 and one in the last 21 games with For Jalen sure. Hurts. So that's, they sort of have, you know, the, their own Brock Purdy. Yeah. And they, I mean, He's not quite as good as Brock, though, because no, they're one going to have it right. They're going to have to beat the 49ers, I think, to get the number one seed because I do see more scheduled losses on their schedule. Like when you look at it, the Cowboys and them will probably split. The Dolphins, that's a very losable game for them. So when they play the 49ers, it's, I think it's going to be more important that they beat the 49ers than the other way around for them to get the number one seed. So we'll see how that game goes when they do eventually play. But 
If Philly has to come to San Francisco, that's a major advantage for the 49ers or Santa Clara, I should say. 